So it feels a little weird making a video about planning since I'm by no means an expert and this isn't the first plane I own and I didn't even use this one first but this plane and that box have gotten so much attention I wanted to show that yes I am using it. I have in my garage at least uh, start the process of building my first uh, work table. This top was in the garage against a wall on a ledge with a foot worth, uh, worth of real estate to stand on before you're falling off a ledge. It was never useful in any way. I have taken it off. It is not in the best condition, but for me, cost cutting is a big key. This is the cheapest white pine lumber I could buy. It was by no means straight. I did the absolute best I could with all my measurements and a square. I do not have a table saw. I do not have a jig. I have a hand circular saw. Everything was cut by hand. Everything was glued and screwed. Um, I am square corner to corner on all the different sides, but the bowing of the wood left my casters teetering between this corner and that corner. And I started off with my cheap, very small plane, just because I felt silly using this fancy antique. I say fancy because I really adore it. Uh, to do this, only it's a short, I think it's a number four, and it doesn't really span the distances very well. So I will make an argument as to why anybody, including somebody who's trying to turn cheap yellow pine into a flat bottomed stand, might want to spend the money on a nice long plane, a number seven in this case, because not only did it let me lower these corners here, but it was also long enough for me to bridge these gaps across the corner here and then take and lower these corners from there out and then here out as to keep my high points and make sure that even these cross beams so that when I set it on a, on the piece of flat plywood now it sits flat it doesn't teeter and I can put my casters back on I do not plan on keeping this laminated countertop warped crooked thing in the long run. I plan on replacing the top with solid wood uh, laminated top. I will flatten the other side as well like this equally and hopefully make a video of the lamination process. I only have a couple of F clamps and we'll see if we can figure that out and maybe I think I need some pipe clamps but I had lots of requests for it. There she is. There she's been used and yes the blade is back in right now. Props to the people that make comments about setting it on its side or, or retracting the blade. Um, but yeah, I have just been setting it across open spaces, setting it side, on its side or pulling the blade back in this case for the demo. Anyway, just thought I'd drop a line and share that with you guys. Appreciate it stopping by.